Hi guys, welcome to Rapturous House. My name is Tanya. I hope you all are doing absolutely, absolutely wonderful. Today's reading is going to be for my Virgos. Let's see what's currently going on between you and the person that you're dealing with, okay? I do want to thank you all. I want to thank you all for all your likes, all your shares, all your comments. They're all greatly, greatly appreciated. If you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, please do so. That way you'll get notified anytime I upload any new video footages, but also that way I'm able to tug on your energy, okay guys? Please remember, only take what's yours. Leave everything else behind. If you would like a personal reading, my website's information is down in the description below. That is the only way that you're able to obtain a personal reading, okay? All right, my love's going to get right into this. I do call on the Holy Spirit. I call on the white light that guides us. I call on the goddesses that gives us our strength and the angels that protect us. Show me spirit. Show me what I need to see for my Virgos. Let's see what's going on with you guys, okay? All right, my loves. Show me what's currently going on with my Virgo and the person they're dealing with current energy give me some sugar hugs and kisses adoration snuggling pillow talk bonding so for a lot of you guys right now present moment you and the person that you're dealing with there's a lot of bonding going on a lot of hugs and kisses there's some good energy here there's definitely some good energy i'm seeing communication conversation this is conversation over coffee tea like this is like walks in the park like i feel like for a lot of you guys this is you and the person that you're dealing with trying to get to know each other better trying to understand trying to compromise trying to work there's a lot of energy of feeling each other's energy give me past energy spirit past energy How far are we? Almost steady progress, stamina, enjoying the journey. So for a lot of you guys, yes, I feel like for some of you guys, the person that you're dealing with, this person could be could live at a distance. This could be somebody that you could have met online or somebody here. Like there is distance here. This is this is not someone here that's right around the corner. This is someone here that you have to get in a car, you have to get on a boat, you have to you have to you have to travel to get to this person. You have to fly to get to this person. A lot of you guys, it's driving. A lot of you guys, it's driving to get to this person. I feel like there is a sense of stamina here. This is stamina in life and stamina even in the bedroom here in the past. I see a lot of progress. I feel like for a lot of you guys, you're right now, present moment, still dealing with this is the same person. This is the same person. There's a lot of enjoying the journey. But when I get to this, so when I get to this, give me some sugar here. This is almost like for some of you guys, you could be reuniting with some the person that you're dealing with. Or like there's like a reconciliation for some of you guys. Because I feel like this is like, let's do this again. Let's try this again for some of you guys. And for some of you guys, if this is someone new here, this is like moving on to the next phase of the connection of the relationship yeah give me near future spirit all right stomping grounds nostalgia memories tradition visit past connections for some of you guys you have a past person that's going to come in to interfere with this current connection for some of you guys there is an energy here of thinking about the good times because, you know, this could be past, present, or future energy here. And for a lot of you guys in the near future, this is you thinking about the good times. So this could, for some of you guys, this could have already happened. For some of you guys, you could have already dealt with this person. For some of you guys, right now, present moment, there could be a lot of thinking about the good times. Thinking about the journey that you and someone have, you and someone here that you're dealing with, the things that you've gone through, the things that you've been through. And I feel like there's an overall energy here of two individuals. There's definitely an overall energy of two individuals that has a that have a lot of memories. A lot of memories. What you don't see, kiss my grits. 
what you don't see is that this is like no thank you walk away somebody here is walking away somebody here Ooh, it says know your word self-respect and strength somebody here what you don't see even through all the memories even through all the nostalgic for some of you guys there is a past connection here that yeah you may think about this person but you're not going back to this person I'm definitely getting you may think about this person but you're not going back to this person there was a point in time in your life that you really 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 enjoyed this person's time there was a point in time in your life that you would have done anything to be in this person's presence there was a point in time in the connection that there was some good stuff there was some good stuff for some of you guys right now present moment this is like you getting to know someone and then somebody here from your past resurfaces someone here from your past resurfaces but you tell them no thank you you've moved on yeah Give me current energy for my Virgos. The moon and the high priestess. Ooh, some, some serious intuitions here. There's some serious intuitions in this reading. There is a lot of hope and healing here. There's a lot of seeing your worth. There's a lot of seeing past the illusions. Seeing past what's being told to you. Yeah, this is a lot of you guys like Pisces, Cancer energy, a lot of you guys, definitely strong Pisces here, like seeing past the BS, seeing past the illusions. This is like all knowing, like no, this is like an all knowing what's real, what's not real. This is an all knowing of like, what's my worth? Give me past energy, three of pentacles. This talks about collaboration. It talks about working on something truly 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 working on something which we did see we did see a lot of you guys in the past you really 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 was working on something really putting in the effort really trying to get to know you and the person that the person that you've been dealing with or the person that you're dealing with right now present moment for a lot of you guys the person that you're that you're that you're that you were dealing with in the past it took a lot of effort like it took you traveling to this person this person traveling to you for a lot of you guys, you and this person from the past, y'all could have taken a lot of road trips. Y'all made a lot of memories here. There's, there was a lot of memories made here. Like this talks about working. This also talks about collabing, joining, like joining two families, combining kids. Like this is like forming the Brady Bunch for some of you guys. So in the past, yeah, this is like forming the Brady Bunch. Like you and this person, you were building with this person. You were working with this person. You were definitely trying to master a connection with someone here in the past. Right now, present moment, it's like you're seeing something for what it truly is. You're seeing a lot for what it truly is. For some of you guys, the person... The person that you're connecting with, the person that you've been dealing with, this person themselves, they're seeing you. They're seeing you differently. They're seeing you very intuitive. Like they are seeing, I feel like there's an energy here of, so let's stop the BS. Like someone here is like really and truly seeing you, truly, your skills, your talents, your worth. For some of you guys, for the first time, truly for the first time, like, through a whole new lens through a whole new lens because i see like somebody here wants to bond somebody here wants to spend some time somebody here this is also giving me for a lot of you guys an energy of wanting to get to know each other all over again there's someone here in a lot of you guys energy right now present moment this person that it talks about hugs and kisses it talks about someone here that adores the other person it talks about someone here that wants to spend some bedtime some pillow they want to do some pillow talking they want to bond I'm definitely getting an energy here for a lot of you guys like the person that you're dealing with right now present moment you are this person's favorite person you know the thing about I'm getting I'm getting in this energy you're different from anybody else this person has ever been with I'm definitely getting in this energy like you're different from anybody else that this person has ever dealt with this is a whole nother class of an individual here with that high priestess this is a whole nother class with that moon here like there's no bsing seeing straight through it like this is like the veil has been lifted whether the veil has been lifted on you 
over, over your, like, you know, on you or on this person, it's still been lifted. So there is no BS. And I feel like you see straight through this person, this person sees straight through you, but there is no need for BS is what I'm getting in this energy. This is about open and honest communication. This is about bearing you guys soul. Yeah. Now in the near future, I see a lot of, there, there's a lot of energy of past connections and nostalgia. Show me near future. The devil. Mm, Capricorn energy. Show me. We have the four of cups with the ten of cups in the reverse. Hmm. Why is that? Why is that? Somebody, it's a missed opportunity. For some of you guys, you're dealing with somebody here that's, they, you know what I get? For some of you guys, the person that, yes, there's some good stuff here. There is some good stuff here. But in the near future, what I'm getting is like someone feeling there's a fear that seeps in. For some of you guys, somebody has some things that are being exposed, truly being exposed, like somebody's vulnerabilities. With the devil here, we have the four of cups and we have that 10 of cups in the reverse. Like somebody is like seeing somebody totally different here in the in the near future. Like you see how they have nostalgia, they have memories and they have this past connection. The devil talks about like, it could be some overindulging. There could be some third party here. There could be, I'm definitely getting a lot of overindulging though. I'm getting a lot of overindulging or I'm getting like, you know, a little couple spat. Like, but are you going to let, it's like letting something get the best of a situation letting something control the outcome for some of you guys this is adding third parties or adding other people into the mix other people say so's when really and truly it's not about them it's about you and this person there is a fear here that's being seeped in like for some of you guys there is something that's taking a hold of someone for some of you guys this is something that whereas someone is feeling caged or somebody's feeling trapped here and with that four of cups it's like someone here not knowing how to handle the pressure of being in a committed relationship, the pressure of truly being in a, re in, in, in a marriage, a relationship, building a family. Uh, it's giving an energy of becoming too much. It's definitely giving an energy of becoming too much. Yeah. Show me spirit. What's the potential outcome between these two? The sun. In the reverse, though, that sun came out like that. Leo energy with the five of cups. Like accepting things for what it is. Bottom of the deck, nine of cups. It's like, say la vie. It's like, it's almost like throwing your hands up in the air and be like, oh, well. That's kind of what I'm getting in that energy. Like, you know, like not allowing something to steal your joy the way that sun came out with the with the five of cups yes there are some disappointments but it's like truly seeing something for what it is uh, accepting something there's an acceptance here there's definitely an acceptance here accepting something for what it is like it's it's like giving out some type of respect like if i can't make you happy i respect that you have to move on you can't make me happy so please respect that i will have to move on that's kind of the energy that i'm getting yes i am disappointed yes i hope things could have been different or i hope things can change but this is like okay are you content with how things are unfolding this is like having an honest conversation are you content for a lot of you guys this is like okay will you continue to do the things that you're doing or will you change what are you willing to put put up with what are you willing to put up with or what are you willing where are you willing to make the necessary changes with that seven of cups for a lot of you guys the person that you're dealing with the person that's coming across as being just totally content with kind of throwing their hands up in the air this person is juggling with someone else this person there is some somebody else that's in this person's energy with the hangman a lot of you guys are dealing with someone here this person, this person is non-committal. This person, they have this little whiff. They got a whiff. They got a smell. Like somebody walked past them and they smelled beautiful, handsome. They smelled real, real good and they got their attention. 
and they got their attention five of swords there's a lot of conflict here there's a lot of drama a lot of fussing and fighting and then all of a sudden oh I'm sorry for a lot of you guys like somebody here is picking an argument with you sometimes they're literally picking an argument out of nowhere like you and this person could be enjoying the moment getting getting in that pillow time getting in those hugs and kisses all is well then all of a sudden here this person comes huffing and puffing and the thing about it is nobody even knows where is this coming from I'm getting in like in all of a sudden you know like somebody here that's like oh if I do this then I may get away with doing something else you see how that fish is not in that cup this is someone here that don't even know not they're not sure they're not this is like giving an energy of someone here that's not sure with the Herman here look at that that separation this is like taking a step back Virgo energy I feel like for a lot of you guys yeah unexpectedly like there's a separation between you and this person with the lovers as well could be with a Scorpio a Gemini here and we have a Virgo here like you see this disconnect you see this separation between you and this person why because this is like I'm not gonna play this game for so many of you guys, you're like, okay, but I'm not going to play this game with you. You either in or you're out. Are you in? Or are you out? And I feel like for a lot of you guys, it's so unexpected to this person because I feel like for a lot of you guys, this person knows that you wanted this or that you want this and that you, this person knows and they, this person apparently is very familiar with your habits. This person is very familiar with your behavior. This person is very familiar with the fact that you want to build. But for a lot of you guys, you've been building on an, un an unstable environment, on something that is not stable. And I feel like why this is not stable, because for some of you guys, the person that you've been dealing with, this person is immature, or this person is non-committal, or this person just don't know what the hell they really, 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 really want. Even though they do adore you, they do adore you. They do enjoy the time that they spend with you. But I do see in the near future that it's all going to be memories. Like in the near future, it's like it's all memories. But, you know, there can always be a change. But it, it takes two individuals saying, OK, yes, I want that change. We have the Hierophants here. It talks about commitment. We have the Chariot here. Again, talks about moving forward. So for some of you guys, like there could be a turning point because I see somebody here truly apologizing. Yeah, this person wants to apologize. That's that person that comes in and like, let's try this again. Like, you know, I'm, I'm ready. Someone here is saying, OK, I'm ready. Yeah. Six of swords here. Mm, that's you. That's you saying, OK. That's you saying, OK, you get this chance. You get this opportunity. What you're going to do with the chance, what you're going to do with the opportunity here. So I do see you guys actually trying. I do see you guys actually trying with this person. It's like trying again. But then when you see that six of swords, the six of swords talks about moving on to karma waters. Four of swords. There's a need to rest. I feel like for a lot of you guys, yeah, it, it doesn't turn out the way that you expected. It doesn't turn out the way that you predicted or the way that you were hoping for. And then here we come back and it's like you're having to get your mind right all over again with this four of swords and the star here. Like now you're back to having to try and heal something that you feel is faded. Heal something all over again. This talks about rest, talks about a deep introspection here. Deep, deep, deep. But look at that still. Look at that. Still, a lot of you guys, you've been dealing with a karmic. A lot of you guys, someone was put in your life. This person was put in your life. The person that you've been dealing with, they were put in your life to teach you a life lesson here. Because you see how we have the world in the wheel. This is there's unfinished business between you and this person. This this is not an over and done situation. This is absolutely not an over and done situation. And for a lot of you guys, that's that past person in the near future that's coming right back in right back in ace of cups you see this new putting in the work see that you have this person coming right on back again why do i feel like for some of you guys this is like a this is this is an on and off again connection between you and this person this is an on again off again connection between you and this person for some of you guys when you and this person take a pause from each other 
at some point somebody took a pause from each other someone here got pregnant or someone got somebody else pregnant and then still like it's like okay but can we try this again okay my feelings for you have not gone away okay my feelings for you are not going away so can we try this again still see that then at that point in time it's like okay we have this four of wands you see like i feel like for a lot of you guys you're dealing with someone here I'm telling you, this person's just immature or this person lacks the fortitude. There's a lacking of fortitude, lacking the fortitude of getting their shit together timely. Like I'm getting like a timely. And for a lot of you guys, I feel like because you're dealing with somebody here that could have had an addiction or someone here that has a lot of fear. A lot of fear of you like a lot of fear of you because I'm getting an energy of being too good to be true though or just being too safe, too grounded. Like I'm getting an energy of being too safe, too grounded. Hmm. But I do see like, okay, I see you and this person having this conversation. I definitely see you and this person having the conversation. Are we doing this? This is like, this is a, this is an energy of a lot of you guys. It's like constantly like, okay, what are we doing? Cause I really don't want to give up on you. I really am trying. I'm definitely getting an energy of you guys like really like, okay, but I'm really trying, but it's also giving me like, okay, the, the door swings and it's like reminding the door swings from both ends. Just like I'm trying, you could try just like I'm trying. I want you to try. When are you, when are you going to swing that door my way? Yeah, I feel like not right now for a lot of you guys, but I do see this person coming back with that eight of cups. I feel like you and this person, this is an on again, off again thing. <clears throat> this is an on again, off again thing. But the thing about it is for a lot of you guys, you have not been able to tr totally disconnect from this connection. You have not been able to truly, totally disconnect from this connection. I do see you trying through the, through. I don't, I don't know why I'm hearing through the years. I do see you trying through the years, but I don't see you truly, 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 totally disconnecting from this person. Yeah. Hmm. A lot of you guys, you've been waiting for this person. A lot of you guys, you've been waiting for this person and you feel quite foolish about it. You feel quite foolish about it. It don't even, I feel like for some of you guys, it doesn't even hurt anymore. But there is some insecurities here. <clears throat> Excuse me. Like, I feel like there is some insecurities that a lot of you guys, you do have to deal with. I feel like this is like after dealing with this for so long, after dealing with this person and their BS for so long, you have your own issues that you have accumulated. Excuse me, give me a sec. You have your own issues that you yourself, you have accumulated. <clears throat> wow. Um that you yourself you have to deal with yes it says be authentic your way is the only way for you whatever you're doing i feel like look i'm sorry my voice is acting funny whatever you're doing this is your life the way that you're handling things nobody can tell you excuse me sorry about that nobody can tell you what's the right or the wrong way of handling this connection spirit is saying for you to be authentic to do things the way that you your way is the only way for you nobody can tell you oh just throw your hands up and totally just disconnect totally just walk away that's not who you are for a lot of you guys it's just not who you are it's not the way that you've been built for some of you guys you have tried you have tried, but this is like you embracing who you are, embracing where your heart really lies. Because there is an energy here of a lot of you guys. This is where your heart lies. With, it, with this person is where your heart lies. Or vice versa. And remember, this energy can be past, present, future because time is fluid. Energy is fluid. You can flip and switch it because this could be you. This could be your person. But I'm definitely getting an energy of you and someone here like not truly being able to move on from each other's energy it's definitely been hard there's definitely a back and forth energy here and spirit is saying to be authentic your way is the only way for you no one can come in and truly be like okay uh-uh you need to leave this person you need to let let bygones be bygones if it was that easy i feel like you guys would have done it already 
Yeah, I feel like you guys would have done it already. Show me spirit. Hmm. So we have an iris and we have a dahlia. It says rainbows and messages. When it rains, look for rainbows. When it's dark, look for stars. I feel like this is like not every day is going to be a good day. Not every day is going to be a good day. But I do see like for a lot of you guys, you have some really good time. You have good times with this person. It's not all bad. And it says rainbows and messages. I see communication. And with rainbows, I do see the hope at the end of the like at the end of the day, there's still hope here. It says when it rains, look for rainbows. When it's dark, look for the stars. You see that? There's still hope. And then we have Dahlia. Dignity. A wise man has dignity without pride. A fool has pride without dignity. Wow, that's pretty awesome. That is pretty awesome. Your dignity. Like, don't jeopardize your dignity. But also don't be a fool and be prideful. Letting your pride get the best of you. Letting your ego get the best of you. Yeah, that's pretty awesome. That's pretty nice. I do like that. All right, my loves, that is what I have for you guys. If any of this resonates, please hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't. Until next time, bye guys.